Fuller, Da Vinci, uh, Buckminster Fuller, Disney, Kerry Mullis, a lot of other people, and tried to look at what are the basics of creativity that these people use on a day-to-day -day basis, even if they never use that term or called it that. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. I got it. Oh, you're going to cure cancer? No. Tuna fish. What if you mix mayonnaise right in the can with the tuna fish? Hold it! Hold it! Wait a minute, Chuck! Take live tuna fish and feed them mayonnaise. Oh, this is good. Call Starkist. So one of the basics of creativity, looking at what I, you know, all those people I just mentioned and many others, was what I call peel the onion, which is how do you remain curious? On a day-to-day -day basis, what do you do to remain curious about the world around you? And ask questions. Tuna fish. Why did tuna fish come in the same form, fit, and function can for 130 years? until somebody got smart 12 years ago and started putting seasoning and herbs and different packaging. Why did we put it in the same can forever? Because, because nobody asked. I mean, that, this technology has been around since the Korean War to package it this way. Just somebody finally said, OK, I'm going to be curious. Why can't we do it differently, do something smarter? Everyone seen the movie Apollo 13? OK, well, I'm going to show you a probably the least memorable scene, and I want you to listen for the word waste dump. Okay, Houston, the quad heater circuit breakers are open. Copy that. One, we're using the forward omni when the Earth's in the window, and we're switching to aft omni when we see the moon. We copy that, 13. Aquarius, we don't want you to make any more waste dumps. The venting may push you off course. Oh, Christ. What's up? No more waste dumps. We're just going to have to store it. Jack, going to need some more urine bags. OK, uh, Houston, that leaves us with just the computer, which I'm shutting down now. And that's it. We just put Sir Isaac Newton in the driver's seat. So waste dumps. Um, <clears throat> That was actual, very close to the actual phrase of what um, the controller said to them in their reaction to it. What they did then was they started building bags and taking flight manuals with duct tape and building little boxes to put waste in. And they did that for four days. And they stored it all around the capsule, which wasn't a big deal. OK, because, yeah, go ahead. OK, thank you. What does waste mean? Human waste, pee pee and poo poo, okay? <laughs> you dump them out into space, okay? So they have a little compartment thing you put in there, you open the door, and it flies out into space and disappears, okay? That's what waste dumps are, so you're not carrying all this extra weight for no reason. Um, they told them to quit making waste dumps, so they packaged this stuff up, and they kept wrapping it in very creative ways to store it, and because it was freezing in there, it, was basically frozen pee pee and poo poo, okay, all over this place until they got to re entry. And re entry, the whole capsule heated up, all this stuff melted, and then when they splashed down the ocean, it went flying everywhere, all over them, okay. So the frogman, the frogman is the diver that comes up and knocks on the window and gets the thumbs up. Is it okay to open the door? And he gave him the thumbs up. He opened the door, and these astronauts were just covered in human waste, right? And the frogman says, well, I've heard of being scared shitless, but not literally, OK? So they're sitting at the debriefing, and uh, they're going through all the debriefing stuff with Apollo 13. And they got to the part about waste dumps, and they said, why did we really have to contain the waste through the whole mission? And the controller that told them to quit making the waste dump was 24 years old. And he's sitting there shocked, going, what are you talking about? I meant for five seconds. I meant quit making waste dumps for five seconds, not four days. But nobody asked again. They just assumed. Conventional wisdom was that's what he meant, and we don't want to be pushed off course. Yes. Why did he, say for five seconds? he only wanted it for five seconds because he was getting a radar fix on him to get their velocity and direction. Ah. And he doesn't have to do it a full time. He's just got to bounce light off him and say, that's where you are. And he checks every four or five hours or something, right? So. Communication, peel the onion, being a little more curious. Yeah, stop me when I 
say any space stuff that gets too weird, or I'm not clear enough on it. But sometimes if you look closer, you can find some interesting things. You know, it's 200 power, 400 power, made in China. 